Welcome to my first video journal. The objective of these is kind of an adventure. It's just to provide critical and effective valuation of my speech and recognize where I could improve. It's been kind of reviewing self-help and language videos, kind of see learning about inflections and elongating words. And very uncertain of where the format of these will take us. However, I've decided for my first venture, just read some previous university assignments and just run through some words that I've encountered and kind of help myself practice and learn them. So, my university assignment I've picked just the very first paragraph of an economic study of electricity and I believe it was social economics. So, electricity is paramount to society has been utilized worldwide in production, transport, and everyday functions since the Industrial Revolution. Since then, fossil fuels and renewable resources have been relied upon extensively for energy. Electricity production in Australia, with its natural resource endowment having the fourth largest coal reserve, 11th largest conventional and unconventional gas and oil reserves, and notably the world's largest uranium deposit, has and continuously ha, continues a fruitful production of energy for Australia. As two thirds of all energy production is exported and as such accounted for 33% of greenhouse gas emissions in 2019. This feat, however, may not be sustainable for much longer as the externalities of energy production and usage bear down on us in many ways including climate change and consumption of non-renewable resources and appears to be reaching a tipping point as climate change and political pressures draw in and demand for fossil fuels reaches a new peak. In this report, we will review findings of publications on a variety of interconnected issues surrounding Australian energy, discuss the apologies and strategies for the Australian energy sector and how they have guided Australia towards a low carbon economy and attempted to attain energy security for the future. Yeah. Some of the words we've kind of stumbled across recently. Nominate, it's not named or classified. So example we've got, sorry, these innominate artisans and artists who built and decorated the great medieval cathedrals of Europe. So they're unnamed, um, not classified, there's no history. Kind of like an eminent, uh, an eminent object. I don't know if that's correct. Diametric, so complete opposition. Opposite extremes. Um, husband and wife with diametric personalities. I think that's pretty self-explanatory there. So just complete opposition. That could be political views or opinions. Dogmatic. Um, Characterised given expression or opinions very strongly or positive as if they were facts. Now I don't know if, if dogmatic immediately implies that you're incorrect or if you're just very strong opinions. Probably important to kind of dial that in and be certain of how that works. A syllogism, um, it's deductive reasoning. So I think kind of the best example I found of a syllogism is if A equals B, B equals C, then all A's equal C. Kind of like a triangle. If this equals this, equals this, then this must equal this. Now, incumbent, um, just occupying a position or space. Um, Don't need a kind of sentence. This encumbered, I think, is the verb. It's encumbered by a backpack or encumbered by his position. Oh, spicy. Lovely fucking pop up interview. Wonderful job. Cogent. Um, a cogent is 
clear, logical, and convincing. So, it's adjective describing. Um, I've not been cogent in this video. Uh, I've not been clear, probably haven't appeared logical, and probably very unconvincing. So, repudiate. 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 To refuse to accept. Um, refusing a contract. Repudiate a contract. Um, kind of not accepting of something. I guess you could repudiate a gift. Since we're coming into Christmas. Uh, purports. Purports. Um, to have the often and spacious appearance of being, intending, or claiming. So I think he purports. He claims. I think it's very synonymous with claim. It's probably the best way I'd use it. Um, he purports a position, or he purports to have fulfilled these obligations externally. Uh, onerous. Onerous is very similar to troublesome or burdensome. Um, onerous task, burdensome task, I think can be very interchangeable. And primacy. I think primacy kind of draws from primary, as it's the first or the main. Uh, prominence, preeminence, pr probably very similar. Um, importance or rank. State of being first was kind of the example I said. So, I think in reflection, it's very important that I actually read through what I'm going to be saying. Um, I have to actually reflect on what needs to be said, so I need to rewatch this and maybe just adjust the script. But this will come in reflection. I think immediately I'm very nervous just recording this myself before it's even released. So, I don't know, this needs to be reflected on, but happy to have pulled the trigger and initially started this at the very least.